Hello there everyone, Ashton Flash here and welcome on into a early Lego Batman and DC set review. We are looking at set number 76259. This is the Batman construction figure retailing for 37.99 euros. What's interesting about that is we actually don't have US or Canadian prices. This set for some reason and the other figures have not been added to shop at home. I believe though other listings and retail prices have it listed for 34.99 USD, so that'll be 44.99 Canadian. I was sent this early by Lego and Land to do a review for and I am excited to take a look at our first DC buildable figure. I got to say, I actually kind of like this one. I'm not saying I at all want more of these. That's not what I'm saying. I just think that the way that this is done, some of the building techniques and different things that they've done here, like for the arms and such, I think they did, they did a good job. I think it's, it's one of the better buildable figures. So let's start up here with the cowl and the head, shall we? So this piece is shaped very similarly to the different pieces that they created for the other Marvel characters. However, all three of the characters in this wave all have a nose. You could see a little bit of the bridge there for the nose. You could see how big it is there from the side. It's not too big. It's not too noticeable, but I think that the printing and everything works well for them. They really captured Keaton's mouth there as well as the printing isn't too bad. It's not too blue or pale. I, I think that that looks pretty good. Also, just some of the shaping here that they've done for the head in the back, I think is great. They're using the Speed Champions Among Us piece there, which is really cool to see in black and how that is actually just sort of adding to the shape of it there in the back looks really, really great. And there's a lot of posability that you could do with this turning it up and down and side by side. But something very unique about this figure is actually the cape. This is the first ever cape that we're getting with any of these buildable figures. I really wonder if we are going to get Thor or something down the line. And now we'll know how they do the cape. It's not brick built like I guess the mechs were. But it's this giant fabric piece. And it's a strange sort of material because, first of all, it's see-through. You could see through there and see his legs. But what's interesting about it is it's different materials on each side. I don't know how else to describe this to you. I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick this up, but you could see how it's actually soft on one side. And then on the other side, what you saw before, it's got, uh, you know, it, it's sort of slippery, I guess, is a, is a good way to describe that. How it's attached is actually on these little pieces here, and you just remove the studs that are holding it together. And if you wanted to just remove the cape you can go ahead and do that but then you've got those pegs sticking out there on the shoulders but yeah i i'm very impressed by the fact that they created this really i assume for only one use so even though the back would be covered with the cape they still went all out and they even like i, I like that a lot how they've got it even covered like they could have just left it like with some of these spots but even then that's meant to like add to the shaping of the waist and uh, attaching it to the top part of his chest so I, I think that's that's pretty good but anyways back to the front there of his torso I really like that two by four tile there with the Batman symbol. I'm sure that's going to appear in other sets, but also the ab build there, like the fact that they're using the little pizza slice watermelon pieces. I think that that's pretty smart on Lego's part. Um, the arms have quite a lot of flexibility, as you would expect. This was a new piece actually introduced for these buildable characters last year with Iron Man. And uh, the shoulder pads there as well were for these characters. But yeah, I think that works quite well. The arms as well, there's quite a, a lot of different motions that you could do with this. You could wave and do different things, even the hand there on the end actually is able to move different ways. You've got the mech fingers here being included as well. You've got this piece here with a stud on it. Although nothing is included in the set, I kind of wish a battering or a grapple gun was, but you do have the stud there, but nothing to attach it to. So I think that's kind of interesting, but I really love all the different tooth pieces there. I think that's, that's done quite well there for the arm.
The Batman utility belt has a really cool two by two tile there in the center. I wish it was all gold, unfortunately, but I get not recoloring some parts. I like the side, how they've got the handle piece there with the ingots. I think that's pretty good to have it just going around the whole side. Also, what's interesting is that this piece here, after you attach the legs, is actually added afterwards because it sort of covers up a little bit there of the joint and just that that little bit of detail i appreciate them trying to sort of make it as seamless as possible these legs are the same that everyone else gets for these buildable figures they're fine i guess there's a lot of posability that you can do here with this um just to show you just all the angles and everything up close maybe not as much with the feet but uh, i i do like the build and the shaping that they always do here for these i i think that that looks quite good Here's just to show you some of the posability that you can do with this figure, and it is able to balance, I'm assuming, even with the cape and all that. It shouldn't really throw it off. Let's let's see if I can have him doing some cool, crazy acrobatic stances there on one leg. See, there you go. There, there's a lot you could do here, posing-wise, squatting-wise as well, if you wanted to have him sliding or something. I don't know, but I like how the cape is you know, moving with this. I, I, I appreciate that. And it's a little staticky right now, but I, I don't know. There's something about that giant cape. So a joke that I've been making slash also a fear and real chance and possibility is getting a large scale Batmobile because this one here has since retired. And what if it was sort of like what they did with the Hulkbuster, where, you know, Iron Man was introduced first on his own, just like Batman is being introduced on his own. And could we potentially see a large scale one to fit him inside? Thankfully, we do have the minifigure scale Batcave instead of that. But I still can see it being a possibility, honestly, next year. So I thought what better thing to do in this video than to actually try and put him inside obviously the scale is not the same but uh just to show you here shall we let's bend his knees forward as much as you can and that that that's about it <laughs> that's all you can do just for fun i removed the torso from the legs and uh yeah you could kind of put him inside there I guess, not that you could close it, but it's sort of like a, a toy car version, I guess. But in all seriousness, if you have this on your shelf or table or something like that, if you put Batman far enough away, I feel like the scale of it, it's not too bad, honestly. I think obviously the car needs to be bigger, but you know, if you put him further away, it's not the worst. And why not display these two things together, I guess. Overall, I, I am pleasantly surprised by this set in terms of it being our first DC one, them really capturing certain elements of Batman's physique and the suit design from 89. I think obviously it's fitting with just how much Lego obviously loves Keaton and also just with the Flash film coming out. Do I like it? Would I get this if it wasn't my job to review this? No, I would never be purchasing this, me personally. It's not something I'm interested in. But what's important is, what do you guys think of this? Are you going to go get this? Are you going to display with your Batmobile, your Batwing, etc.? Maybe you just want the figure on his own. I don't know. I'm just a little tired of these buildable figures. But at least this one is one of the best ones I think that they have done. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hope you will have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.